have talked a lot about damaging winds in recent days. Parts of Colorado seeing winds well over 90 miles an hour last week, and it's going to be breezy again, and that can affect the mountains in different ways. Your reporter in the mountains, Spencer Wilson, explains why I-70 can act like a wind tunnel at times. If you're looking for a good example of how hurricane force winds can affect a mountain corridor blasting in and then basically disappearing afterwards, we've got the story for you. Wind can sneak up on you, considering you're usually only seeing what it's done, not what it's about to do. That was the case in Idaho Springs last week, when the winds were so strong, a power line dropped in a parking lot near the Starbucks onto parked cars. I copied that. There's a, uh, a Ford pickup truck and a Subaru now on fire. You can see the flames spark and the trees wave in the wind until another power line breaks as the wind pushes the tree around. So why here? Idaho Springs Downeyville area, for example, we had gusts anywhere 65 to 75 miles per hour. Why is that? The air is going down the mountains, given our specific direction that day. And once it goes down, it's accelerating, funneled in a windstorm. I mean, those are the two ingredients for the perfect storm. And that perfect storm is what emergency crews worry about, with high winds flaring up a wildfire. It's part of what made emergency crews so nervous just last night, where multiple agencies responded to an RV fire starting to spread into the forest nearby outside of Central City. The RV was a complete loss, but crews got the fire under control. Now, with another wind event in the forecast this week, the mountains are bracing for strong pockets of wind. It could be breezy all day, 40 to 50 mile per hour winds. However, for 10 seconds, you'll get a 90 mile per hour gust. That 10 seconds is where all the weather happens. And that's the biggest challenge. And I think that's the toughest thing for people uh, to really ingest or digest rather, because a wind event isn't going to produce 90 mile per hour winds all day. We don't get hurricanes here. One of my favorite things that Joe told me about forecasting up here in the mountains between 10,000 and even 14,000 feet is the variability. You're never really quite sure what's going to happen with potential hurricane force gusts blasting through corridors. Maybe one spot in a neighborhood, you get that storm or those wind gusts, and then another spot, just one block down, you get absolutely nothing. It's just another fun part of living in Colorado. Along I-70, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first.